My name is Catherine Nolan, but everybody calls me Kate. I was born in Worcester, Massachusetts. Where do I begin? <laughs> um, the first thing I remember was the weather. It was the coldest winter in Europe in 40 years, way below zero, and we were out in tents. So that was the first thing. The first enemy was fighting the, the weather. Um, being a field hospital, we only got the most seriously wounded, the non-transportables. So keeping them warm and keeping them alive, you know, it was our job. But uh, they all had major surgery in our hospital. And as soon as they were able to be transported, we sent them back to the evac hospital. So we, ne we never heard, you know, again, how they made out after they left us or anything. We often wondered if they made it all the way home. Um, but we'd be uh, attached to different infantry or armored units. <clears throat> And we'd have four hours to find the location and get the tents up and be ready to receive patients. Sometimes they, the incoming wounded started coming <laughs> before we were ready, you know. So you learn to set the hospital up in the order that it was going to be needed. And it wasn't quite the way they had instructed us to do it, but, you know. You improvise a lot. We were able to save so many lives. You know, we had the best, we were a field hospital in tents, but we had the best surgical teams in the, available. And uh, everything, with the emphasis was, was on, you know, getting these patients through this. Because if they got through the field hospital surgery, they had a pretty good chance of surviving. Um, but we were in tents, you know, and um, nothing but a potbelly stove to warm it, and you know, it was it was tough. It was hard work. Well, <clears throat> my uncle back home in Worcester was a World War One veteran, so he was uh, receiving the the magazine and the mail, and so when he started reading and he saw my name and mentioned and they are taking care of this war correspondent, you know, he got kind of excited. <laughs> but um, so he saved the magazine for me because I didn't get home till two years later, you know, so I didn't see it. But uh, well, <clears throat> he was in a lot of pain, but you never know it. He was, he always had a smile on his face and he was always very upbeat. And uh, as mentioned in the article, he really helped me with the other patients because he was, had such a sense of humor. You know, you never believed that there was anything wrong with him, and he had, his wounds were worse than some of the others. They were pretty good. They were, they, they were good patients. They never complained. They were the best patients, and you knew that the rest of your life you never have patients like these.